Hi, today we are going to use YOLO V5 for image classification. We will classify animals. After the training, our data set, we will use these two images, the elephant and the butterfly, in order to try to predict how perform our model. This will be our data set. As you can see, we have several categories. It's all in Italian, but it's not relevant. As you can see, for each category, for example, these elephants, we have more than uh, uh, 3,000 images. So we will use this data set and train a model based on YOLO V5 in order to predict new and fresh images. After downloading the data set, you should store it uh, in your local machine. As you can see, all the images are located in a different folders. Each folder represents a category of these animals. So first of all, we will create a, a new Conda environment. Let's name it YOLO V5 and it would be based on Python 3.8. During the creation of the environment, as always, I will leave a link in the video description for the, for the code, for the instruction file, for all the process from the starting point, from the creating and downloading the data set until the, the prediction and testing our model. So now we activated our model and next we have to figure out what is our CUDA version. So mine is 11.8. You should run this command of NVCC minus minus version in order to check your version. And I will install PyTorch version 2.2.0. This is the command, let's copy it and let's run it. So now we are installing a PyTorch. It should take a, a, a few seconds. Let's wait, done, okay. Now, as I said earlier, I will leave a, an instruction file and let's change our interpreter to our Conda environment, the one that we already created. And now it's the part that we have to install all the relevant Python libraries with the specific versions. Uh, let's fast forward this process. I will leave, as I said earlier, a link to these files as well in my description video. As you can see, I run it on a fast forward mode. You should run every line. Okay. Four to go. This is the YOLO the Ultralytics uh, Python library that includes the YOLO v5. And the, the last uh, two lines is very important. The OpenCV Python headless is, is a, has a problem with displaying images. So as you can see, I'm uninstalling it and install the full OpenCV Python library. So if you have a uh, problems with the uh, showing images, you should do the same. So next we have to prepare the data. So if you look in the data set, you can see that we have all the categories, but they are not divided to train and validation images. So I leave this Python code. Uh, I will not explain it. It's, it's very simple. It's just split the folders to a train and to a validation. So you can run it. You just have to uh, change the last lines, what is the source and what is the target, where do you store your images, your source images, and where would you like to store the target. And basically, after you run this code, it will create a train folder and a validation folder, and about 80% of the images will be in the train, and the rest, the 20 images, will be in the validation. So I'm running it on a fast forward process, but as you can see, in each few seconds, it creates a new folder and each of the folders contains the images. So this, for example, is the train folder. Let's wait. As you can see, the train and validation. Here's the validation and you can see all the images in the validation. This is another category of the cows. 
Great. Now we need to install YOLO V5. So this is the repository. Let's copy uh, the command. You should choose your folder where you would like to clone it. I clone it under tutorials and you run the git clone command. As you can see, we have a new folder named YOLO V5. And next we have to download our uh, the checkpoint, the, the weights of the YOLO V5. We would like to use the, the small one named 5S. So download this file and copy it to the YOLO V5 a main folder, the one that you have just created. As you can see, I download it. Now it's the train part. We will run it python classify slash train.py. The model minus minus model is the, the file that we have just downloaded. And now we have to point it to our data folder where we store all the images. This is the folder that we have just created uh, by splitting the data for train and, and validation. Now, number of epochs. I chose 500. I think it's uh, creating, uh, generating a very good results after the training. The image size would be 224 by 224. Device zero if you have a GPU. And the number of workers, we will try it with two, two workers. It's, you can play with this number. It's depend of your memory card. And now it starts the train process. Once again, I run it and fast forward since it took about five, six hours to train all the images. So as you can see, you should follow the validation loss. You can see that on the first epoch, it was 1.83, but it's decreasing. We're expecting to see that this value, this validation lost value should go down each time we are finishing an epoch and by the end of all the training after 500 epochs it should be um, about 0 0.5 that means that the model is performing very well so let's jump directly to the last epochs so the result is very good and everything is stored under this runs train cls exp3 if we go to this folder you can see the result that compares between the ground truth and the predicted value as you can see for these test images each value is perfectly the same as the ground truth so let's continue to the next phase which is testing our model with our new and fresh images I will leave these two images, the butterfly and the elephant, so you can use it as well. We have to copy this folder, this images folder to our YOLO V5 folder. Right, and now we can use these images in the command line. So here is the folder images. This contains our two test images. So let's run it. A Python, once again, classify slash predict. And now we have to put the weights file, the one that was created just now after the training. So let's copy the file name, the full path to the best PT file, which is the weights. This is the weights file. Just change the slashes direction. Best.pt. These are the weights. And the image size should be the same. It would transform to 224 by 224. And the source is our images folder. And let's uh, generate the result under a new folder. Let's call it exp underscore images. And let's run it. Now let's see the result. Let's go to this new folder. So this is the first image, as you can see, in about 89%, it's a butterfly, and in this elephant, about 93%, it's an elephant. But this is the out-of-the-box command. Let's create our own Python code, and we would love to load the image and run the prediction, not as a command prompt, but as a Python file. So let's create 
a new Python file. Let's import the relevant uh, Python libraries. Once again, the whole code will be, I will leave a link in the video description so you can use it as well. Let's import all the relevant Python, uh, Python files. Now we should load the weights of our um, trained model. So this is the path. This is our best.pt file. Let's choose a device. If you have a, a GPU card, it would store the value CUDA, and if not, it would store the value CPU. So this is the target of this command. Now let's load our model using the, the path. So several arguments like we are telling the model that is based on YOLO v5 and this is the path for the weights and we would like to load it each time. Now this is the evaluation, let's run it. Fine, as you can see, I have the model summary on the layers. Let's continue. Now, now to have, we have to define a transform object. The main purpose is to, to transform our images to the, the requirements of our uh, model. So we will use the transform composed. As you can see, we have to resize the image to 224 by 224 since our images are in a different size. It's the same that we have done on the on the command line, but now it's using a Python code. Okay, next we have transformed the data to a to tensors, form a number to a tensor, and now we have to load our images. Let's start with the first image, which is the butterfly. This is the path for our image. Let's load the image and we are converted it to an RGB. Now we are using our transform object, the one that we defined earlier. And the main purpose is to convert our image to the requirement, requirement of our model. And we also add in a, a new dimension since our model is requested, um, let's say, a batch of images. So we are creating a batch of images with only one image inside it. So now let's print the shape of our image. Okay, as you can see, it's size of a one by three, 224 and 224. One means that it's a batch with one image. Three means it's three channels for the colors. And 224 by 224 is after converting the image to the requirements of the model. Now we are running the prediction. And the outputs would contain all the values of the predictions for all the classes, but we need the one with the highest prediction. So we will use the R max, and this will return the value of the class with the high prediction. So basically, it should be a number. The predicted class should be a number, and the number is the index of our classes. As you can see, it's class number three. So now we have to get the name of the class. What is class number three? So in order to do that, let's once again load all the folder names 
from the from the training and after loading the, the categories we will look for the name of the categories on the position 3 predicted class would be categories and inside the categories we are looking for the predicted class and this would be the text okay the name of the class so let's once again run the prediction and see what is the name of the class okay farfale farfale in italian it's a butterfly so the model works great now, now let's display the image along with the prediction text so we will use OpenCV in order to load the image once again only for the display and since our image is very big and we would like to resize it resize it to our um, to our screen our view we will uh, reshape it or, or change the, the display with the same ratio of the width and the height and we resize it by 35% so now we are creating a new width and a new height so this would be our new dimensions now we will use the OpenCV function the resize OpenCV function in order to resize it and decrease it by 35% and the resized image would be stored in the resized variable. Next, let's put the text. The text means the class name within the image. This is the position 10 by 13, uh, 10 by 30, so, sorry. This is the font and this is the color, a uh, common practice of using the put text function. And let's show the result, the image with the category name and let's run it as you can see the predicted class farfalle which is a butterfly great let's try the second test image which is the elephant we just have to change the image path. And let's run it again. Great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. You're most welcome to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.